Guys, I got the call. We are gonna go get a watch that 99% of collectors will never ever own. As you know, I've always had a bit of a watch problem. Today is my 35th birthday, and I got the call yesterday to go pick up what I would consider my ultimate watch. Now, before we get there, I actually got a watch for my birthday this morning from my wife, which is the Omega Swatch. Super cool, I've wanted one of these for a hell of a long time. If you like watches and you can't necessarily get to the super high-end things, this is basically, you know, like a Speedmaster without the price tag of the Speedmaster. Now, having said that, I'm meeting my mate at the store, a Rolex authorized dealer, which is how I would recommend trying to buy watches. It's very difficult. That can be a discussion for another day. But I'm gonna to explain to you guys on the way the significance of this watch. Let's go. Oh my knees, oh my goodness. So let me explain the incredible significance of this watch. I have recently started the process of selling one of my companies and I'm taking a portion of the proceeds of that and I'm gonna basically store that money in an alternative asset class in this watch. Now, the reason I'm making this video is I'm not gonna ramble too much about why and how and what are what are, is simply for the reason most people can never buy this watch. Now you might say, Pete, how the hell is that possible? Well, it's a simple supply and demand thing. Rolex only make a certain amount of these watches. There's rumors that they really struggle making the bezel for this watch. Now, if you're a Rolex lover, you probably know where I'm going with this. But more on that, when we get to our AD, which is about 10 or so minutes away. Now, I buy my watches from a place called Fundale. Okay, they are based in Tiger Valley in Cape Town. Amazing people, really feel part of the family there. And I used to hate my birthday. But lately, because last year on my birthday, I was able to get a stainless steel panda or a Daytona with the white face and the black and it's gorgeous watch. And that kind of made my birthday pretty freaking awesome. And this year, we're getting something better. This is a badass. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna drive. I'm about to head out of sort of our community here. So on the big road, I don't want to vlog too much. It's a little dangerous. And um, yeah, let's go buy something awesome. Now to clarify, we're, even though we're buying, I do consider these as investments and it's basically parking money into something similar as a Kruger Rand or buying gold or, you know, um, buying fine wines people like to do. People like to buy classic cars. There's a whole bunch of ways. What's really, really cool about the watches if you're buying the right watches it takes up an incredibly small amount of space compared to like a vintage car for example you get to wear them every day you can't exactly walk around with a gold bar around your neck um and it's it's really cool and there's new designs and you know they're super limited it's almost like pokemon but for men because you got to collect them all um so yeah anyway okay we're like three minutes out find a parking run inside have a coffee and then it's time for the reveal i've actually never seen one of these in real life which is nuts ever 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 seen one of these in real life Here we go in all its glory. Absolutely spec freaking decular. Wow. I realize how incredibly blessed I am to be able to purchase this watch. I'll absolutely be wearing it, but we are about to hit the park with pink Crocs, 
So we got the Speed Master back on. Don't say a pink Crocs. Because you're wearing pink Crocs, that's why. But how great is this too? Alrighty, my daughter and I had a great time at the park. I realized I didn't really wrap up the video. So I thought I'd show you guys this briefly. This is my other GMT. And it kind of got me thinking. Rolex just announced their new GMT, which is essentially this, but with um, the gray and sort of matte black face also on the Jubilee. And I was thinking maybe I should do a collection of GMTs, that could be pretty cool. I know some guys have Daytona collections, some guys have, you know, Submariner collections, but a GMT specific collection could be pretty cool. Now I'm gonna show you guys two options here, A and B, and then, you know, perhaps next year or the year after that, if there's an opportunity to get one of these watches, maybe I'll swing back to this video and look at the comments and see. Uh, so we've either got the blue, which is called the Bad Girl on the Jubilee, and then I think they're going for Bruce Wayne on this new gray one that's just been released. Um, I kind of like both. I mean, I think the Jubilee bracelet is such a nice bracelet. It wears really nice, it breathes really nice. And uh, yeah, I just love the design. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I realized that most people will never buy a watch like this. And uh, yeah, I thought it's a unique opportunity to show you sort of my excitement that I was experiencing throughout the day and just this sort of journey of collecting that. What isn't really summarized here is the two hours that I spent at the dealer, drinking coffee, sharing stories, looking at the new releases they've got, looking at some exotic watches that they got in, um, and just sort of talking shop, because we love watches, and you know, it's a sort of like-minded mindset, and it's very similar to us in the, you know, you're probably watching this because you follow my other channel, sort of in our firearm space where, you know, we're all basically the same person in a way. We love the same things. We like cars. We like, you know, certain types of rifles or hunting. And, you know, it's just, it's super cool to spend time with like-minded people. And I feel like that, you know, it's such a, an asset to have a little community like that to belong to. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. It's, again, kind of this channel is reserved for making videos that I feel like making. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye.